Hello everyone, so today's video I will be showcasing all of the in-game food boosts that are currently available. So this video might be a bit longer than usual, but I'll do my best to go through it as quickly as possible. First, let's take a look at all of the boosts that I've collected. I have all of the luck boost, with most of them being at tier 3, but I do have a few that are at tier 2. Also have the economy boost speed boost and movement speed boost and here we got all of the XP boost and a tool range boost all right now that we're all set we're gonna start with the farming luck boost as you can see we have an equal amount of wheat on each side now let's harvest all of this wheat and see how much we get before and after using the boost All right, it looks like on this side we got 75 wheat and we also got six wheat seeds. All right, now it's time to do the other side. So let's eat the grilled sturgeon and activate the farming luck three boost. All right, and look at that. We managed to gather 91 wheat and 23 wheat seeds. So this boost is pretty impressive, especially with the amount of seeds you get back. So yeah. Also, as you can see here, the boost remains effective for 30 minutes. So all of the tier three boosts have a duration of 30 minutes. Tier two has 20 and tier one boost have 10 minutes. All right, now let's quickly see the effect of the boost on pumpkins. I'll just cut down a few to evaluate the difference. All right, so I will be right back. Alright, we've not only gathered a great amount of pumpkins, but also a ton of pumpkin seeds. Normally without this boost, I would not gather this many seeds. So this boost is really excellent, and I do highly recommend using it. Alright, let's move on to the next food item, which is the Grilled Ray. So the Grilled Ray provides the Foraging 3 Luck Boost. And before using the boost, you only get one flower when picking them up. We'll also test if the boost works with mushroom boxes. Normally without the boost, you only get five mushrooms. All right, now let's eat the grilled ray and activate the boost. All right, and there you can see it lasts for 30 minutes. All right, so now let's collect some stuff that's on the ground and see what we get. All right, it looks like we're not getting any extra items just yet. We'll keep trying though. Ah, uh, there we go. We just got an extra two cedar wood instead of one, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it seems like we're not getting any significant extra items, which is a bit disappointing. However, let's try it with these mushroom boxes. Okay, I did manage to get one extra mushroom from the box. All right, we got another one. So this boost seems to work pretty good on the mushroom boxes, but it's not very effective for gathering items that's on the ground. All right, now let's see how this boost works while cutting grass. So let's cut this grass and whoa, it appears that we're getting a considerable amount of grass, wheat seeds and grass seeds. So this is quite interesting. So if you have a specific need for a lot of grass, this boost is pretty good and could be beneficial. So yeah, it seems to work pretty good on grass. All right, and it looks like this boost doesn't seem to work that well with fruit trees. As you can see, we're still getting the same amount from these apple trees as we would get from before using the boost. So I'm not really sure if this boost works that well in this regard. So yeah. All right, now let's see if we can get any extra maple syrup. So normally you would only get two maple syrup before the boost. So let's test it. All right, and it looks like right away we got an extra one, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. So if you're looking for some extra maple syrup, this boost can be quite helpful, so yeah. All right, so overall, do I recommend using this boost? Not really. 
I mean, it's okay if you want some extra mushrooms or flowers or a ton of grass, but personally, I didn't find it very valuable, so you probably won't see me using it that much in the future. Okay, next up is the Mining Luck 3 boost, which provides a specific benefit when mining. By activating this boost, there is a small chance to obtain an additional rock or ore when mining. So let's put it to the test. Before activating the boost, you can typically gather 6 rocks from this boulder. And as for the gold rock, you usually obtain 2. So now let's consume this grilled squid. Its effects last for 30 minutes. Alright, so we'll see how much we get from this boulder now. So even with the boost active, we obtain the same amount as before. Still 6 rocks. So let's try with this gold rock. Uh, there we go. Uh, this time we did receive an extra piece of gold. Bringing the total to 3, so that's pretty good. So yeah, this boost does give you a chance at an additional ore or rock. But as of right now, I don't really see the purpose of using it because rocks and ores don't really have a significant purpose. But yeah, so that's my thoughts. If you want to get additional ores, definitely use this boost, but I probably won't be using it. Alright, next up is the Wood Cutting Luck 3 boost, which is from the Grilled Sunfish. So this is basically the same thing as the Mining Luck 3 boost, um, but instead it's with wood. So let's cut this down and see how much we get before the boost. So we get 4 wood. Yep, we get 4 wood. So now let's eat the Grilled Sunfish. Alright, now let's see how much we can get. Alright, so... Still only get four, so let's keep trying. How many trees will it take? Let's see. Three. And, all right, there we go. From like, after four trees, we finally got one extra wood. So yeah, um, this boost is all right. Basically the same as the mining one. So if you guys need a lot of wood, I guess you can use this boost. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, next up is the Fishing Luck 2 boost, which is from the Grilled Roach. So this boost, I actually love using. So let's visit the town real quick. So this boost gives you a small chance at receiving an extra fish when catching a fish. So let's firstly go see if we can find a fish anywhere. Okay, I do see one fish, so let's consume the boost. And as you can see, this one lasts for 20 minutes because it's tier two. So now let's X out. And then let's see if we can receive a extra fish from this little guy right here. So let's Cast it out, and then let's see. Alright, it looks like we only got one, but I will be right back once I've caught an extra one. So yeah. So as you can see on the bottom right of the screen, it did give me two trout fish, which is pretty cool. So I do recommend using this boost if you are needing a lot of fish. It is a small chance at receiving an extra one, but I still recommend using it. So yeah. Alright, next up is the XP boost. Um, I won't be doing the foraging XP boost or the farming XP boost just because I already have them max level. So as you can see right here, they're already at max level, so I won't be able to do a review on them. But we will be doing the mining XP 3. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so before the XP boost, let's see how much XP we can get from this copper ore. So it looks like we get 15 XP. All right. So now let's eat the squid stew. And then the mining XP3 is activated for 30 minutes. All right. So now let's see how much we can get from this copper rock. And uh, looks like we got about like 20 something XP, which is really good. That's really, really good. Let's, ch let's check it again. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's above 20 XP. So that's really awesome. All right. Next up is the woodcutting XP3 boost which is from the swordfish, I mean sunfish stew. So yeah, it's basically the same thing as the mining one. So let's see how much XP we get from this tree before. We got about eight XP. Yep, eight XP. So now let's eat the sunfish stew. And now it also lasts for 30 minutes. Now let's cut a wood and see how much we get. So we get 
14 XP, so it's a little bit, a little bit more XP. Not bad. All right. Yep, 14 XP. So this boost is pretty good. If you need to level up your woodcutting level, then definitely use this boost. And yeah. Next up is the tool range two boost. So this boost basically lets you harvest more um, crops when using your scythe. So here it is. It's from the swordfish stew. All right, so let's see how our range is before the boost real quick. So let's cut some of these pumpkins. All right, so this is what my range looks like before the boost. Okay. So now let's eat the swordfish stew. Let's eat it. There we go. And this one lasts for 20 minutes. And now let's see our range. And holy moly, this range is actually really good. Look at that. Oh, wow. I'm definitely going to start using this when harvesting because this is insane. Oh, yeah. Okay. This boost is definitely worth it. I will be using this boost for now on. I just need a lot more swordfish. So, <laughs> yeah, this boost is really good. I recommend using it. Okay, next is the fishing XP3 boost. And as you can see right here, I have two of the same fish. So we're going to see how much XP we get before and after the boost. So let's try to catch this fish. All right, there we go. And before the boost, we got 15 XP. And we also got an extra roach fish, which is cool. All right, so now let's consume the hammerhead stew. There we go. And then let's see how much we get from the same fish. All right, it looks like we got 26 XP, which is awesome. Definitely recommend using this um, this boost because fishing XP does take a while. So yeah, definitely use it if you are able to. And yeah, next on to the next boost. All right, we are finished with the XP boost. So now on to the next ones, which are the ones from the oven. We got the economy, the tool speed, and the move speed. So let's first start off with the tool speed three boost. All right. So this just affects your tool speed and it is from the cake. So this is my speed before eating the boost. So it's pretty good, not that bad. All right. Okay, so now let's eat the cake and activate the boost. Last for 30 minutes. Okay, so now let's get our scythe out and let's see how fast we can cut grass now. And yep, we're cutting it super fast. This is actually insane. Also, this boost works with mining, um, wood cutting, and anything else that uses tools. But yeah, this boost is awesome. Definitely use it. I will be using this a lot. And yeah. All right, next we're going to use the movement speed boost. So here they are, the cherry pie and a mystery cake. Let's put those down here. All right. And these boosts are from the oven. There is a movement speed three, but it is currently locked for me, sadly. So instead we'll use the movement two. Um, but first let's use the mystery cake, which gives you a movement speed um, of unknown. There's a question mark. So let's test it out real quick. All right, we ate it and it makes this go super slow. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why you would want this boost. Um, I'm not sure if there's a chance of getting a super fast speed boost, but I've tried it a lot and it's only given, it's only made me go slow. Also, it only lasts for two minutes. So yeah, that's the mystery cake boost. And yeah, we'll just, I'll be right back once the two minutes wears off and I'll test the next one. All right, after we're done with that, <laughs> we're going to do the movement speed two boost. So it's from the cherry pie, like I said, and let's eat it and see how fast we go. So this is my speed before, pretty whatever, and this is it sprinting, okay, pretty fast. All right, now let's eat the cherry pie. There we go, and now let's see how fast we go. So walking basically makes you sprint, and let's sprint and see how fast we can run. See, ooh, look at that, really fast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, this boost I will be using as well. Um, this one lasts for 20 minutes. 
uh, because it's a tier two. So yeah, this piece is cool. Uh, I recommend using it, so yeah. All right, finally, the last boost we're gonna be doing today is the Economy 2 boost, which is from the Golden Cake. So this boost gives you more money when selling crops and everything. So there's also an Economy 3 boost, but I have it locked and I currently have not caught the Great White Shark. So if you guys have a Great White Shark, hit me up and I will buy it. <laughs> so yeah, instead we'll be using the Economy 2 boost. So yeah, I will be right back once I've gathered some stuff to sell. Okay, here we are at Trader Tom and I have some stuff in my inventory to sell, all of these pumpkins. So yeah, let's talk to Tom real quick and see how much we can get from them before we're using the boost. So let's put them on here. All right, and before the boost, he would give us 800,000 coins, which is not bad at all, but let's try to get more. So let's eat the cake real quick. All right, now let's talk to Tom again and see how much he will give me instead of the 800,000. So after the boost, he gives me about 100,000 more, which is awesome. So yeah, this boost is really good. If you can get the economy three, I'm sure it's even better. But yeah, let's sell it. There we go. And that's pretty much about it for this video. Um, gathering the materials for these boosts did take a while, but I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Um, if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And yeah, I will see you all again later.